Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penj and welcome back to Academia School Simulator and the Geek Cupboard Academy and we are in the build phase of, if you can believe it, year 11, 11 years, when the school opens its doors to students that will be the 11th year of operations, the 11th year of student intake for our Geek Cupboard Academy, which is quite astonishing. We didn't get anywhere near year 11, I don't think, on our previous run of Academia. We had all sorts of bugs and things on the last run, but this one has gone sort of okay. We've had a few little issues here and there, and obviously the big issue that we've had in recent parts is the perceived lack of food. And we've tried a variety of different things. We've tried all sorts of things. We've tried merging the cafeterias. We've tried getting rid of the vending machines on advice from the devs and all that kind of stuff. And various people have suggested other things as well. People have said bigger delivery areas, smaller delivery areas. We've had all sorts of suggestions. But the devs approached me and said, hello, can we have your save file just so we can have a look at what's going on? They have investigated it and their words are they've added a fix to the issue. It's a balancing issue, not quite a bug, but hopefully it will be addressed by the next update, which which is what we're playing now. So hopefully the lack of food issue will go away. We shall have to wait and see. When we open up, we'll have to wait and see. I really hope it has. I hope it has. And that also means if it has, we can rejig this a little bit. A few people in the comments were saying, get rid of the staff cafeteria. Nobody uses it. Well, I think the staff use it. I think the staff might be a little bit miffed if I get rid of their teeny, tiny, very, very abject cafeteria. I mean, they haven't got a lot of room anyway. So if it does fix the problem, what I would like to do is I'd like to get that bit of the kitchen sort of walled up to here and then make this into more cafeteria space. In fact, in theory, in theory, do the staff need walls? The staff don't need a walled area to their cafeteria. Do they? That's not very inclusive. That's not very inclusive at all, thinking about it. Why don't we build a wall down here around the kitchen take down all these walls and then have a nice sort of open area where the staff cafeteria can still be zoned and it can still be its own zone but you know it's all open it's not sort of they're not hiding behind walls what have they got to hide these janitors what have they got to hide indeed so yeah we'll take that wall down i think we'll rework this a little bit but uh, we need to see if it all sort of uh, kicks in first we need to make sure that the actual bugs are fixed and all that kind of stuff what else have we got to do well we've got a little bit of money left we've got a tiny bit of money we were working on changing this from they've not done that bit of wall um, we were working on changing this from classrooms, which we don't need. We've moved those up there. And we're going to make those into special rooms. So, you know, science labs and art rooms. And these two across the top were going to be computer labs. However, they do not seem to have done this. They've not removed that bit of wall for some reason. Ooh! Oh, it's a new menu structure. Oh! Oh! Oh, have we got new things to research? A goth fence. Oh, that's a, a stone fence. <gasps> We've got new things to unlock. Oh, this is marvellous. Hang on, let's go and have a look. What have, what have we got now? What have we got? Fancy fencing. Oh, yes, absolutely. We'll have a bit of fancy fencing. Thank you very much. We'll spend a thousand on that. I want to get a goth fence. <laughs> now, that is good. Oh, is that new? A stone floor. I think that might be new as well. Hang on, what else is new? I don't think any of these things are new particularly. Oh, I did want to put some of those trees on the outside. Though. That looks very pretty. I like that maple. And a myrtle tree. I've never heard of a myrtle tree, but it looks lovely in pink. That's nice. Um, yeah, that stone floor, I think, is either new or that picture's slightly different for it. Because I don't remember seeing it before. But yeah, this could be very good. So we could get ourselves a goth fence. And that works well with what I was hoping to get done. This area here... We outlined as being a nice big outside area, a couple of big tracks, and then a couple of little fields. And I think if we could get that with a fancy fence, that would be great. That would be very exciting. Over here, we've got, you know, a, an ordinary fence. Boring. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want your ordinariness anymore, fence. We want fancy fences. Do you know what I might do as well? Just for the sake of it. Let's get rid of this incredibly dull fence. Let's get rid of this. Hang on, hang on. Did I set that to be demolished? Demolish that, please. And also demolish this fence. Get rid of this fence in its entirety and we'll put in a more interesting fence. We'll put in something nice. So by the time they've done all that, by the time they've take, took it all apart and removed that bit as well, we'll we'll have unlocked the new fences and we can put them in. Oh, this is very exciting. Uh, right, okay, I've been entirely distracted <laughs> by the potential for some fences. But okay, right, so they can get on with that. Also, we were going to remove a few of the hand sanitizers. I like this. This is far nicer than having the little left, right sort of buttons across the bottom of the sort of a list of items. I like having them all here. I can't see anything new in the actual items. Nothing jumps out at me as being immediately obvious. Sorry. I like the fact there's a fan. I mean, what, where does, I mean, do we put the fan? Where does a fan go? Does it go on a desk? I can't seem to figure out where a fan lives. 
It doesn't seem to sit anywhere. It goes it goes in the walls. It goes in the walls. Okay, I'm not going to play with the fans. That seems a bit strange. <laughs> Why does the fan go on a wall? That seems very obscure. Oh, it's clipped up on the wall. It's not like a desk fan. Oh. Oh, let's put one in. Let's put one for the principal and let's put one for the accountant. Let's let's you know move their air around a little bit. That might be quite nice. And do you know what? Let's put them in the faculty like actually, do they cost money? Oh, they cost electricity per day. No, we're not having fans. No, no more fans. <laughs> Away with that. No, no fan. And and no fan. Away with your fans. Yeah, that, that's too expensive. That's too expensive. One big thing that we've had, if you've watched the previous parts, is that we were struggling with our income, uh, particularly when the students were leaving. Now, obviously, that might not happen anymore. That might not happen. We shall have to wait and see. Right, let's move time on because we can research fancy fencing, which I do like the alliterativeness of that as well. Fancy fencing. They can come and dismantle all this fencing, which is good. Um, are they taking the floor away as well? No, they're not taking the floor out, which is fine. Or are they going to take the floor out? Because I've drawn over the top of it. I want you to take the fence out, but not the floor. That would be great if you could just leave the floor. You're going to take the floor out, aren't you? Yes. Okay, fine. You're taking... Yeah, you're removing everything under there. Have you done that bit yet? No, not quite got around to that bit yet. You've decided this is more important. Okay. Well, whilst you go and deal with this bit here, I will then rezone this. So let's put grass back on here. Oh, dear me. Right. Okay. Uh, build floors grass. Yes. Okay, right. Grass flooring, grass flooring, yeah, okay. And grass flooring just there as well. Right, so they can pull that back in. Right, and then over here, they still have, is it done its weird little thing where it forgets? <laughs> Do this one, please. Uh, yeah, forget about it. And then demolish that, please. There we go. We're going to have to sort of politely remind them about that, are we? Right, okay. So they'll do all that. Oh, they've done all that already. Marvellous. Okay. And then we want to get the flooring in for here. So we need to decide what rooms these are going to be. They're two computer rooms. That's fine. We've got three rooms here. Why don't we have a science lab, a library. Fancy fencing research is complete. So hang on, we'll sort this out first. Why are they not doing this? Builders, <laughs> remove this section of wall immediately, please. Walls, demolish. Dem hang on, do I need to demolish both bits, maybe? Maybe I need to tell them to demolish both sections. The, the builders are being very resistant at the moment. Builders, stop drinking coffee and come and do some work. Where are they? Right, hang on. Let me go and see if I can sort this out. Ah, right. Marvellous. Okay, they've done it. Don't remove that bit of wall. Okay, splendid. So like, how about we make then? We have a science lab, a library. There's not really any... Oh, there's a couple of libraries over here. We've got a library up here. So we've got an art room up here. So if we get ourselves a science lab, a library, and... I don't know what that other room could be. I'm not entirely fussed. It could be... It could be anything, couldn't it? What should we pick? We've got two music rooms there. Uh, so how about two computer rooms? I've got an art room there. Science lab. We've got everything. We've got all the rooms. It's fine. It's not like we're going to run out of one particular type of room. So we could just pick anything. How about then we get ourselves uh, two science labs and uh, a library? That'll do. Let's do that. So the science labs have got concrete floor. Let's slow time down a sec. So uh, concrete flooring. Good old concrete tiles. Uh, so the outside ones can be science. Go science. And the inside one, which can be a library, that had the <laughs> extravagant marble flooring, didn't it? Okay, so let's do that. And now, while we're here, while they do that, let's look at the fences. Oh, oh, wooden fence. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not having that at our school. Absolutely not. That's like we live in sort of, I don't know, some sort of caveman village or something. What is this? Why would you want this? No, we're not having that. Um, We've had fence. Stone fence looks quite nice. Chain link fence looks a little bit prisony. Goth fence looks nice. Fancy fence looks nice. For the front here, let's have fancy fence. Let's have a massive load of fancy fence. And we're okay for money at the minute. We've got quite a nice pile of money. So we're okay for that. So fancy fence can go round here. At some point, hang on. Four fields. Is it worth just... Oh no, I was going to say, is it worth expanding along here and putting more fields in? But... We're going to turn this at the end. We're going to turn this into a lovely sort of garden area. We're going to make this lovely because at the minute it's just a bit sort of mud and grass and kind of wilderness. We're going to change this into something nice eventually. It might take us a little while to get there, but we will work on that. But that might be the last thing we do because obviously we need our money for important things like flooring, <laughs> concrete tiles. So now we can get these rooms in. So, oh, this is this is very good. I like the scrolly approach to it. So computer lab, 
computer lab. And then we want a science, is it a science lab or is it just science? Is, is it a science lab? Yes, it is, science lab. So a science lab there and a science lab there and then a library in the middle. And then we need to put things in these rooms. So let's go through and find, uh, I know, yeah, a computer lab. Let's make these just functional. So you need five computers, five computers, please. One, two, three, four, five computers, five chairs, just the very basics, the absolute minimum that we need. Because computers are expensive in this game. Computers are costly. So we'll have the board at the end in the middle there, like that. Lovely. Two computer labs. Right, okay, next, 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 next. Library, right. Can bookshelves rotate round everywhere yet? No, they can't be south-facing still. Okay. Um, well, let's put... Can we put a load of bookshelves down the side? Have a chalkboard at the end? Because they we've got the luxury here of these rooms being a bit bigger. These rooms are a little bit more spacious than the other ones. So we can have, say, tables like that. And then, oh, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I like that. So that fits the 16 people in for a class. Yeah, just drag that in, drag that in. They're a little bit near to the chalkboard. That's fine. They can, they can just turn around. They've got a really, really good view of the chalkboard. <laughs> it's fine. Or do we move everybody? Do you know what? Oh, do you know what we could do? Hang on, hang on. Right, before they start working on this, right, rem remove remove all. Remo remove all of these things. No, that's all wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrongity wrong. Get rid, get rid. Remove all that stuff. If we put that a bit closer to the door. Yes, it kind of looks like they're going to have to squeeze the door a little bit. That's fine. Also, we've got gaps around the edge of the tables as well. The luxury of space. So if we do that and say, there you go. Yes, you have to squeeze past a chair on your way in. That's absolutely fine. We could get ourselves another bookshelf just there. Yes, a, a library with five bookshelves in, which is better than our other libraries, which don't have actually many bookshelves in. But there we go. So there we go. That's a library all sorted. That'll be fine. And then two science lab. Science lab and science lab. So they need the um, they need the right amount of tables. Why is that? Why does that tile in the corner look a lot lighter than all the others? Has that been zoned properly? Has the, has the zoning worked? Uh, yes, it seemingly has. It's just paler than the other ones. Yeah, there, whatever. It's all fine. It's all good. Right, okay. So um, I like the rows of tables in a science lab. I like having them in sort of rows. So there we go, like that. We don't need chairs in a science lab. No one sits down in science. Um, then we'll have the teachy stuff at this side. So the chalkboard, let's put that there. The periodic table just there. And then along this wall here, we can have science cabinets, uh, two of those. And then we'll get ourselves a gap. Uh, let's put a couple of microscopes in the corner, I'm aware. I oh, know they don't cost, I thought they cost money. Maybe once upon a time they did in a previous version. But there we go. So that will mean that those will be, oh no, hang on, I haven't done this science lab. Hang on, let me just repeat this sort of setup over in this science lab. There we go, that's much better. And now let's go through a little bit of a cleansing operation, pun entirely intended, of getting rid of some of the hand sanitizers. Because we've got loads of them, and I don't think we need that many. Once upon a time, when there was a, a possibly a little bug, a tiny delicious baguette maybe, that was saying that everyone was bothered about sort of sanitation and no toilets and everything being dirty and whatever, we put in quite a lot of hand sanitizers. I don't think we need that many anymore. So let's remove quite a few of them. Like this, this little corridor here has got four. It probably needs one. It probably needs one hand sanitizer. So let's get rid of two, let's get rid of three there. Get rid of that one there. That's four we've got rid of. Let's get rid of the one in the middle just there. So that's five. Let's get rid of that one there on its own. Six. Those two there are probably not so bad. Um, down here, let's get rid of the one. Let's get rid of that one there. So that's seven we've got rid of. This corridor here has got way too many on it. So get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Keep those two. Get rid of the one outside the staff lounge. Keep those two because they might use them on the way in. But get rid of that one. Get rid of that. There's, oh my goodness me, how many did I put in? <laughs> wow, I must have been completely obsessed with these things. But of course, these cost money. These sort of affect our running costs because we have to keep them stocked and it costs money. It costs water, but it, yeah, it's a cost. It's a running cost. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one up there. Let's get rid of that one outside the music room because we don't need that either. Oh, there's loads around here. We don't need that one in the common area, I don't think. Probably don't need that one in the common area. Um, that's in that common area. Okay, yeah, I think that's kind of all the hand sanitizers that we can get rid of. What was that, 12 or something? That's quite a lot. 
That's quite a lot of hand sanitizers that we've got rid of that we just don't need. We don't need that many of them, I don't think. They're useful, but maybe we just went a little bit. Maybe, I say we, I. It's the royal we. Maybe I went a bit crazy with them. Um, also, we need some uh, trash bins and stuff around this area just here. So let's get ourselves, uh, let's go to all and go down to trash bin. And let's just get ourselves some trash bins around the place just so the kids don't make a horrific mess everywhere. So let's put a few of these around the place. Yeah, one there. So one over there. Maybe one by there. Because these obviously don't have a running cost. It's a, just a trash can. It's it's not got a very exciting description. It's just a trash can. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a trash can. Don't get excited by it, everybody. So we'll put that there. Um, there's some up on here. They look like they're facing the wrong way again. Have they been reversed yet again? Yeah, they have. Look, they're facing the wrong way. I think that, yeah, look, they, these ones, oh, right, hang on a minute. We've got, we've got bins that are facing the wrong way. Oh, I can't, no, I can't be doing with that. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that it's the wrong way around. No and no. Um, also, yeah, that, we've already got a bin there. That's fine. Right, how many of these bins are facing the wrong way around? Oh, all of them. All the bins are facing the wrong way around. Right, I need to go and sort that out. Oh, my goodness me, there's loads of them. All of the bins that are sort of north-south facing seem to be facing the wrong way, and I, I can't be doing with that. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no, but they're the new ones. They're the new ones. Yeah, I, I can't. I, I'm not happy with that. I don't like that. They need to be facing the right way. So let's go through a little bit of a period of uh, of sorting out all of the trash bins. Okay, good. That's that done. So they're going to hopefully go round and replace all the trash bins and put them the right way round. It's a little bit strange in academia. Of course, remember, it is in early access. So it's still in early access. Yes, it's been around for a little while. They're still working on it. It's still being developed. But um, yeah, it's a bit strange you can't place an object and then move it once it's down. Like a trash bin, it would be quite handy to you know, be able to click on it and then just swivel its position back round. But that's fine. Whatever. We deleted them. We kind of removed them. We bulldozed them away and then we put them back in again. That's fine. Also, I added a few more little sort of potted plants around just to make it nice and make it a nice pretty atmosphere and I added in a few hand sanitizers but only where there weren't any around so like up here in this corner the nearest hand sanitizer is down here so I put one just there I've not put four or five along here <laughs> like a crazy person no no and there's one just here and I think I put one just there as well I think that might have been it. Did I put that one in? But I didn't put loads in. I didn't go crazy with hand sanitizers. It's all fine. Also the faculty lounge. Do they need two lots of hand sanitizers in there? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Hang on, let's get rid of one of those whilst we're here. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of the one going out that way because the toilet's just there. So they might go and use that toilet and then they might want to, you know, they can either use the sink or if they're weird, they could not use the sink and wash their hands and they could come here and use the hand sanitizer. So there we go. So that's got rid of the cost of another one of those. I think now let's go and take a look uh, the fancy fence. Oh, it's very fancy indeed. Look how pointy the pointy bits are on there. Okay, yeah, that's that's uh, that's nice. I mean, yeah, okay, it's a fancy fence. That's jolly good. Now, what we could do is, I think we're ready to open up. I think we're ready to open up to the next year. Everything is sorted down here. So all the right flooring is in. We've got all that in. It's zoned to all those rooms are valid rooms, which is all good. I think we're ready to open up. So let's just get year 11 underway. We will get a massive pile of money. We haven't got much left to build. We've not got much left to build at all. But I think we're ready. Now we have got to sort out... Uh, where is it? Where is it? In reports. We've got to sort out some sort of uh, thing to do with classrooms. Because we've not got enough sort of assigned classrooms. Because we've rejigged them. So for the freshmen's, we need to assign some more seats. Um, which we can't do. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, have I done something incredibly idiotic? Hang on. I can't, I can't move. Uh, oh, no. Yes, I can. Oh, no. Hang on. But there's only 16 capacity for these. Oh, hang on a minute. Right. My, my brain is frazzled and I don't understand what's happening anymore. What's this showing me? This is showing me that there are 40 students that are... Ah, these are coming back in. Right. Yes, of course. These are the ones that are being transferred in, are they? Or the ones that are being held back. So where would I like to put these five students? You can all go into classroom number two. Absolutely. Have fun there. You lot uh, go into classroom number five. Top up. No, not classroom number five. Classroom 29, which there were five people in. Go and top that up. And then we've got ourselves 40 people. So 40 students in year three. I think these might be the ones that have come up already. If they Is that what these are? I'm not entirely sure. So let's just put those into that classroom. Those into that classroom. 
and the rest into this classroom. Why not? And then the same for this. We just fill up the classrooms as we go. So yeah, down you come. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of people coming back in. So yeah, I've moved these up, and then we've got another twelve going into classroom number thirty, which leaves us with. So hang on a minute. So how much capacity have we got in classrooms 33, 29 and 30? 16 plus 60, that's 26. 32 plus what? 36. So we've got 36. How many are we bringing in for seniors? 30. Hang on. Seats 176. Oh no, that's all the people we could bring in. That was it, wasn't it? Of course, yeah. There's nobody else interested in going to our absolutely perfect, utterly amazing school. <laughs> Maybe we live in a very, very small area or something. I don't know. So um, yeah, that's the maximum we can do. So we've got 176 seats. There's only going to be 170 people. We're going to have a seat spare for the freshmen. We're going to have 10 seats spare for the sophomores. We're going to have 11 seats spare for the juniors and six for the seniors. But that's all assigned I think all the teaching schedule should be fine. Oh, that's all different as well. Yes, okay, but it all looks fine. We've not got the little message saying, oh, you need to rejig this. You know, there's a, yeah, classes without teachers or whatever. I think we're ready to start the school year. Let's do this. Let's begin year 11 of the Geek Cupboard Academy. Oh, this is marvellous. So yeah, let year 11 begin. Oh, I've reached the Algae League, apparently. Oh, and now I've reached the Conifer League. Oh, marvellous. I'm reaching all sorts of leagues. Uh, oh, now I've reached the Fern League. I see where this is going. <laughs> I see absolutely where this is going. The Ivy League Plus. Yes, have that. Reach rank one with 400 students. Oh, I've got the Mushroom League as well. <laughs> it's not quite as good. Oh my goodness me, the Seed League. Okay, yeah, this this is... Maybe these um, achievements have been sort of pending for a while because I didn't think we haven't got many of the achievements when I was looking on Steam the other day. But there we go. Some of them have dropped in and we've been paid a big pile of money, which is lovely. And we've got an operating profit of 1,654 per day. And it's plus. It's not minus, it's plus, which is marvellous. So let's just check uh, on... Where is it? Satisfaction. Right, all the kids, all 500 of them, at the moment are content. They are happy enough. So the first thing we're going to do, and it's not very exciting, but it's something that we need to do, is pay off our bank loan. I don't like owing all this money. Let's get rid of 35,000 minutes. I mean, yeah, it'll dip us just under 100 grand. I think we'll cope. Let's pay that off. And that also means that we're not going to shell out a thousand a day on a bank loan. So that will go up. So if we do that now, we've paid off the bank, pay a loan in full, little achievement comes in, thank you. And now we've got an operating profit of 2,654 per day, which is lovely. And now we're just going to make sure that everything kind of, you know, all the kids come in and they all behave and get on with it. The big thing really will be day two. It'll be day two and lunchtime and whether everybody can actually get on with, you know, get on with eating and being happy. A few people in the comments have suggested, now we have a very, very big cafeteria, they have suggested maybe, because we're not going to have any trouble with seats, I don't think, shifting the um, the lunch times round. So freshmen eat at 11, sophomores eat at 12, and the juniors eat at 1, and the seniors have got to wait till 2 o'clock to eat, which seems quite late. Now, a few people have said, can you not move the senior uh, lunchtime to 1 o'clock to the same as the juniors? Because there should be enough capacity for that. Now let's have a look. Let's work that out. Oh, I can't do these numbers in my head. So there would be potentially 270. So hang on, 270 plus 50 would make 220. One less than that. So 219 students there could be at lunchtime if we moved those two together. 200 and 19 students. No, 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 no. 319 students. No, uh, math with penge. 319. Yes, 270 plus 50. Yeah, okay, right. Fine. My math isn't the best. Um, Maybe I need to go to one of these lessons. So 319 students. Can our cafeteria combined cope with 319 students. Hang on, right, let me count how many tables there are, and then we'll multiply that by uh, eight, because eight people can sit at a table, and we'll see if it's big enough. Okay, so by my mighty mathematical reckoning, which to be honest, is probably going to be wrong, isn't it? But I'm using a calculator on my phone, so hopefully I've jabbed the right buttons in the right order to make it work properly. By my reckoning, we should have 319 students if we combine the junior and the senior lunch times. Now in our cafeteria, we've got ourselves 18 tables up here and 18 tables down here. So we've got a total of 
36 tables. I'm quite confident that that's correct. 36 tables. And then if each table can seat eight people, 36 times eight is only 288. So we will not be able to seat everybody at lunchtime if we combine those two. That's just not going to work. It's not going to happen. So maybe we combine other ones that become a smaller number. So how about we combine the uh, sophomores and the juniors? Let's have a look at that. So that is 118 plus 149. And I'm going to cheat and do that on my calculator because I'm terribly lazy and I'm rubbish at numbers. Uh, that is 267. So if we combine those, we will have capacity and a little bit more as well. We'll have maybe a table or two spare as well. I think that might be worth doing. I think that might be worth doing. We won't do it now. We'll do that at the end of this day. I'm, I'm a little bit fearful as to messing about with stuff right now. Just see what happens. But um, yeah, I think at the end of the day, we should be okay. Also, our operating profit has come down a little. It was 2,600. Now it's 2,000. Why is that? No one's left... Have they put in some more expensive things? I don't know. Okay, I'm intrigued as to why all of a sudden we're down to 2,000 as opposed to 2,600. But whatever the case, I didn't notice what happened there. <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention. But never mind, it's all fine. So that leaves us with a lovely pot of money. We've got 99 grand to play with, which is just beautiful. So I think let's just get all of the outside walls. In fact, can we build all the walls? It's not very exciting, is it? But if our builder folks can go around and build all the walls. Oh, and the goth fence at the back here. We're having a goth fence, I've decided. We've got a fancy fence at the front. At the back, let's go for a goth fence. <laughs> for no real reason, other than I just want one. <laughs> that's, it. that's the only reason. So let's get ourselves some walling put in. Let's get some walls done. So let's pause time for a second, because I'm going to, to put doors in as well. So this should, we'll have plenty of money to cope with this. We'll have absolutely loads of cash to deal with all of these walls getting put in. But we are going to need to put doors in and all that kind of stuff as well. And it might go a little bit wobbly with that, because they'll, they'll get stuck. If we don't put doors in, they'll get stuck. The poor little builders will get confused. <laughs> they won't know what's going on, and they'll get all sad. So let's just get this done now. So do that. Uh, drag walls across here. Now I'm trying to remember. It's been a little time since I played Academia. It's been a little while since I played Academia. And I'm trying to remember exactly what I said I was going to do with this. That was going to be tracks. Their fields. That was going to be a pool. That was it. And then we were going to also put possibly another court over here. Is that what we're going to do as well? As a court here. Maybe we could fit one over here. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that was going to be the basketball court or something. But whatever the case. It's like a sporting area over here. I think that was going to be a toilet and that was going to be a toilet, possibly. Maybe a staff toilet? was Ah, they were going to be staff areas, weren't they? That was going to be a staff toilet. That was going to be a regular toilet, like a gender-neutral toilet. And then they were all going to be sort of specialist rooms. I think that's what we we're going to do. Okay, that's fine. Right, so now we need to go and put all the doors in. So this could take a little while. So let me just go and drop doors in where I think doors should go. Okay, so all the doors are in. The only issue is this common area might need to be rejigged a little bit. Because these tables and chairs are going to be very near to this wall, which is going to be in the way of the door. And I'm fairly sure in game, that won't actually make any difference. It, it won't care. They'll just walk through the chairs and go through the door. But yeah, aesthetically, I don't really like it. So I'm going to need to move all those over. Just take that row of tables out and put them up there, maybe. Or even just, you know, maybe put them up here and do without some of them. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I don't think we need that many anyway. So uh, all the doors are in. So now what we need to do is we need to remove some of this. So remove that. Remove that, which is lovely, and remove that, which is nice. Everything else is ready. We've got doors there to go into the new outside bit. We've got doors just there to go into the outside bit. So now what we need to do is let's get the fancy. No, not the fancy fence, the goth fence. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the gothic field of playing PE things. I don't know, gothic tracks and stuff. I don't know. So right, that's a lot of stuff for the builders to do. That is a lot of work for the builders to do. And um, we've still got 60 grand left. We've still got 60 grand remaining. So they're going to do all this work. They're going to take an awfully long time doing this. And also, whilst we're here, do you know what? Floors. Let's put the teal flooring in. Let's get the beautiful, classic teal flooring in. Just there, just there, and just there. And they will be our last sort of corridor areas. They'll be the last ones. And then also, whilst we're here, let's get rid of those. So remove those. And then let's just put some more back up at the top. So a uh, common area, just so people aren't missing out. Let's put one... Th oh, hang on. No, not there. That's a stupid place. One there. Uh, oh, we can't put it there. 
Why can't I put it there? Because it's half in and half out of the common area zone. Joe, you know what? That's fine. They, they can live without those tables and chairs. It's absolutely fine. I, I don't really want to expand the common area higher because it will look a little bit grim. <laughs> look, it'll be too high up from there. So everything's going well. The builders have got a massive building job on. So, you know, they've got a huge load of job orders in to go build walls and doors. Brilliantly, they've locked themselves in. <laughs> Good job, dudes. <laughs> well done. Yeah, yeah, you've all become confused because you've built yourself into a room without putting it. You've done all the other doors. You've put doors just here where doors can't possibly exist. How? What, what do these doors hinge to? I don't understand. But then just here, you're struggling to understand the concept of a door. Right, okay. Don't. I'll, I'll come to your aid. Don't you worry. Hang on. There you go. Take that out. Knock, knock, knock. There we go. Through you go. <laughs> <laughs> you fools. Uh, and then can we put that door in, please? Are we able to put that door in? Can we prioritise that, actually? Let's do that. Let's go to walls. Brick wall. Put that brick wall in. And then logistic. Worker priority. Work on those two bits, please. You fools. Don't lock yourselves in again. <laughs> you idiots. Right, and then put the door... No. Not not doing the priority door. No, you just... Yeah, I don't want to do the door, actually. I've decided against working on the door. Um, okay, maybe it's done the weird thing where it forgets that we've actually told it to do something. So, uh, yeah, remove the door. Put the door back in, please. Anybody want to come and put that door in? You've put all the other doors in that can't possibly work. You get that one there, which you could have put in. You didn't. Well done, builder guys. Well done. Also, we might as well zone out the entire outside bit with grass. We've got the same down here. The whole outside bit in this corner, albeit it's a little bit smaller, but it's all grass. It's all grassed. So we might as well do that up here. A few people in the comments when we have problems with uh, sort of cleanliness and stuff uh, were saying, ah, it's because there's grass out there. I think as long as there is a flooring down, and I'm willing to be corrected here, hopefully the devs might be able to clarify, but um, uh, I think as long as there is some sort of flooring down, no matter what it is, the dirt kind of uh, whatever, the accumulation, if you like, is not there. I think they only get dirty when they walk over this stuff, particularly. I think if they go out into a nice sort of grassy field, even though you know, in, in reality, if you're walking on concrete and you're walking on grass, you're going to get dirtier, in theory, on grass because it's mud. There might be mud. If it's rained, it might be a bit squelchy underfoot. But I think in the game, as long as there is some sort of flooring down, it's fine. It removes that dirt risk. So I'm going to go up here and zone out that entire area. Oh, this could be very expensive. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Teal floor in that doorway, please. Absolutely. Um, and then let's zone out this entire area with grass. Now we've got ourselves 58 grand. That's going to cost five and a half grand just over, just to lay down some grass. Turf is very expensive in Academia World. Also, just keeping an eye on the cafeteria. It's coming up to two o'clock. So three lots of kids should have had their lunch and the fourth lot are coming in. And it looks like there are plenty of food counters with food in them, which is excellent. In fact, in fact, all of the food counters have got food in them, which is excellent news. Oh, this is great. Yeah, so I assume it was just, as the uh, dev said, a balancing issue. It was just something that wasn't quite right. You know, it just needed to be tweaked a little bit. And as I said earlier, this is early access. We have to remember this is an early access game. They're still working on it. It's still being developed. It's not the completed thing. So yes, little bugs and glitches like that are to be expected. And hats off. I don't wear a hat, but if I did wear a hat, I would take my hat off to the devs because, you know, they are sorting these things out. They're obviously paying attention to the community and they're actually figuring things out and, you know, going, oh, hang on a minute. It, that's not quite right let's change that around a bit and we'll fix it for you so that's good so thank you very much devs and yeah look there's loads of food left there's loads of food left hopefully we won't see people leaving due to a lack of food if we do it might just be one or two people and that's fine because you know maybe that would happen but you know we saw consistently last time five a day or whatever it was so hopefully we won't be seeing that um so it's now three o'clock there's people eating at three hang on have i told people to be eating at three o'clock uh no Two to three, I said eat. Hang on, what? Why? Hang on, right, pause time for a second. Who are all you lot? Who are you? Who are you? Garland, Garland Band. <laughs> wow, what a name. You are a freshman? What? Why is there a freshman eating at this time? Why are you eating at the, whatever time it is? That's, that's a bit weird. You, you're very late. You must, maybe you've been in trouble or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's still a few eating there. Raphael Hoover is a freshman who's eating at three o'clock. Okay. 
That's a bit strange. I don't know why that's happening. I'll, I'm just going to gloss over that and hope that it goes away. But the builders are doing a good job. They're doing an excellent job of getting all this stuff done. They're putting down the teal flooring. So that's lovely. So there's going to be carpet. So if the kids do decide to use this, those shortcuts or whatever, there will be less muck and mud and stuff. So we've got carpeting down. And then it's just a case of figuring out what we want in these rooms. It's going to take a little while to sort of work that out. We know that's a pool. But I think what we'll do is we'll get the outside done. I like the idea of getting the two tracks in place, the two fields as well. When all that grass is down, we'll do that. And I want to rejig this kitchen bit as well. I want to do that really, and then we can make the cafeteria a bit bigger. But they need to do this first because their job orders are pre they're pretty substantially stacked out at the moment. They've got a lot to do about <laughs> Builder Folk. So um, yeah, now they're removing chairs and all sorts. So yeah, they've got quite a lot to do. We'll wait. We'll wait. I'm, we're in no rush. It's fine. It's fine. It's only day one of year 11. We're okay. So they can go out. They can you know, chuck some grass seeds down, roll out some turf. When they've got all this done, then we can start mucking about with this bit of the kitchen. But yeah, it's not really important right now. Okay, I've paused it at the end of the day just to take a look at the food needs and it's come up with some very obscure results. So the freshmen's have their lunch break at 11 o'clock. 11 is when they have their food. So between 11 and 12, they're going to be eating. Sophomores 12 till 1, juniors 1 till 2, seniors 2 till 3. So I would expect the freshmen's food needs to be lower because they ate longer ago. You know, they ate the earliest in the day. And then obviously the seniors should then have a higher food bar. It doesn't seem to be that way, which is a bit weird. The freshmen have gone up to here. They've got a sort of food meter, which is relatively high. The sophomores one is very, very low, and it affects motivation. Their motivation is coming down. The juniors is sort of okay, and the seniors is okay. Why is the sophomore so low? What do they do with their... Um, hang on, sophomores. When's their recess as well? So their recess is at 10, and their lunch is at 12. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we combine the sophomores and the juniors lunch times. I think we can do that. So what did we have? Let's take a quick look. I think I did the numbers for this. So 118 plus 149. That makes, that makes 250, 59, 267. And we had ourselves 200 and 88 places just looking down at my scribbly handwritten notes there so there's 288 seats in the cafeteria we could add more we could always add more tables so that's probably not going to be so bad i think we combine those two and then we can bring the senior lunchtime earlier we can bring that down to be a little bit earlier because they eat lunch, then they have one lesson, then they go home <laughs> and they're never going to eat their dinner in the evening good lord so i'll have it move that to one so the seniors eat at 1. We need to put out their recess as well. And the juniors can eat at 12 with the sophomores, which is fine. And the freshmen have lunch at 11 because, you know, they're young and they need to eat earlier. And they have a recess at the end of the, well, toward the end of the day. Maybe that's why they were all in the canteen eating because they went and ate some more stuff at recess. So they have lunch and recess. They've got a good gap. And now the sophomores have a recess at 10 and a lunch at 12. The juniors, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Their recess is way too, it's way too close. So how about we move that down to nine for the juniors. So they have a little bit of stuff and they have a break. They have a little rest in the morning. That's quite nice. And then the seniors recess could be 11. So we've got ourselves lunch and recess. So the freshmen are on lunch and the seniors are having a recess at 11. And then what's going on here? So sophomores have a recess at 10 and lunch at 12 juniors 9 and 12 so that's fine so yeah they're not clashing they're not clashing for like resources in the rooms and stuff and the seniors have a recess at 11 and a lunch at 1 let's see if that makes any difference let's see if that works it probably won't but never mind <laughs> we shall see also it's coming to the end of day one so let's get this done get everyone back in we'll actually earn some money for the day which is remarkable and we've still got 54 grand left so yeah plan now Let's get this outside bit done. I want to get that sort of finished. That's my goal now. So we need everyone to come back into work and we need all that bit sort of, uh, you know, we need all the turf down. So if the builders could, you know, get on with that, you know, quick, quickly, quick, quick, quick sticks. Let's get that done and then we can get ourselves some tracks. They're nearly done. They're nearly finished. They're doing the last few bits. So I think the fences are already in. They're just putting the grass in and yes, the turf is down and our outside area is sort of all ready. So let's pause time. Let's do some zoning. So two of these, dead easy. Fields, just a field there, 
underfield there. That's nice and straightforward. We've got that done. It's got some of the, uh, it looks a little bit different to that because it's got some of the blueprinty stuff under it. We shall remove that shortly. And now we're going to get some tracks. So let's zone out a track area just there and a track area just there. And now that's going to be, oh, hang on a minute. Is that grass just there? Is that grass? Why does that? Some of these look a little bit different. Again, I'm not entirely sure why that looks like different. Whatever the case. So now we need to get ourselves a couple of tracks in. So we need obviously the track, a couple of benches and a water fountain. The only annoying thing about that is that the water fountain costs money. But never mind, it costs sort of maintenance to run. Because obviously you're providing water to it. But never mind. So an oval track. Ah, we need to make them bigger. The track zones need to be bigger. We can only fit the track into that zone. Yeah, so we need to make it fill up that whole space. Okay, gotcha. Right, track. Um, Become bigger. Go, go track down to that corner. And then go, go track up to that corner. And do the same again. So into that corner. Into that corner. Marvellous. And now down to here. So the track, the actual track in the track zone goes in the middle. They're 3,600 each. But... We've got plenty of monies. And then sports benches can go round the side. So let's put one there. Can we have them sort of building up to the middle? Yeah, I like that. So like that, we'll have them round this side as well. We'll have a couple on this side because there's only going to be 16 students using it at any one point. So we'll have it like that. So there can be sort of some sat on this side if they want. Ah, we won't have any here because there's a door just there. But that's still fine. We've got lots of seating available for everybody. So there we go. Lovely, lovely. And then a water fountain. That can go in the middle on that side and that's done so now let's get the blueprinting stuff remove that whole blueprinted area get rid of that that looks a little bit better that's a little bit tidier the builder guys will run in and do the job on this now it takes them quite a long time to build a track they have to go through each individual tile the track is on and kind of wave a hammer around <laughs> well, what's she doing let's look at Michaela yeah she's sort of I'm not entirely sure what she's doing there I mean she's fully qualified she needs to be hitting the uh, the electric drill there with a hammer I don't know if that's kind of how it works, but whatever the case, they're getting on with stuff. So you there, is that is that Mohammed? Yeah, so Mohammed, when he because he's not drinking coffee at the minute, he loves his coffee, does Mohammed. He's having a little bit of the he just teleported through a wall. Okay, Mohammed is a magical person. Is he gonna do it again? Let's watch. He is <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad the magic man. He can go through the walls. Okay, yeah, he's gonna probably do it again. Yeah, wowee, Muhammad. That is that is a power and a half, isn't it? So um hopefully do not get stuck in a fence. Muhammad, don't get stuck in a fence. There we go, lovely. So um yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? So he's just doing all the sort of the utility stuff. He's putting down the uh the seats and putting in the water fountains and stuff. These are the two who are doing actually the big jobs. But then that'll be done any time now. They're in. So everything else is in, it's just the tracks going in. It's just the two tracks. And I think... Who's going to get there first? I think it's going to be you. I think you're going to get there first. And track is in. Track is in. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it up in the corner there with that gothic fence. <laughs> a lovely gothic fence. That's what we need. Do you know what we could put into here? We could put a tree or two to make it... Oh. 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 Right. Okay, this is interesting. Um, also, our running costs have gone back up again. It was 2,000. Now it's gone up to 2,200. But we have lost somebody due to not enough urinals and cubicles for peeing. So, ah, right. Toilets. Toilets are now a thing. Toilets are an issue once again. Okay, right. So let's come back to the toilety issue. I mean, I still think we've got plenty of toilets. But these toilets here are only zones. There are only toilet zones. There's not actually that many toilets in the actual toilet zones. So maybe next time we need to look at that because that is quite a big thing. I wasn't able to get food 13 people. Yeah, that's that's yeah, probably just because you're a bit slow. You were doing something else. Peeing in the bushes and pooping in the bushes. Do not pee and poop in the bushes. That's not what they're for. That's not what the bushes are for. Stop that, please. So, um, yeah, we've got them in, which is good. But now we maybe need to look at toilets. The only thing is, we add toilets in. It adds to our expenses, which means we don't get our lovely plus monies every day. But never mind. Never mind. That's all good. We need to sort that out at some point. So, you know what? I think with that in, let's finish up for now. We've done very, very well. I'm very happy with how that's going. So day two, kind of coming up to lunchtime in day two. Um, we need to sort out this thing in here eventually. Don't need to do it right now. We need the builders to be focusing on this, but obviously it's coming up to lunchtime. So messing around with this would be bad. What we'll do is we'll get them to work on this at the end of the day, possibly. How is it going to affect the food counters, however? Maybe we leave that for now. 
maybe we can't change that because they'll take away the food counters and if there's no food counters people are going to be hungry and then they're going to leave and it'll all be just generally bad anyway so maybe we do that at the build phase at the end of year 11 and there's not a lot left for us to do there's not a lot left for us to zone out and get sorted I mean, we've got a couple of rooms here and these bits here. We kind of know what these are going to be. Swimming pool, toilets, all that kind of stuff, staff rooms and all that. But I mean, it, that's it. Then we'll be done. They'll have no room left. Oh, we need to make that a common area as well. We'll do that next time as well. But yeah, it's a good point to leave it because, yeah, we've done very well. We've got some new fencing options, which is lovely. We've got the gothic fence over here. Look at this. <laughs> some sort of slightly crazy, creepy outside kind of sporting area. But there we go. So that's in. And yeah, it's a good point to stop, I think. We've, we've done very well. And we shall come back and see how we get on next time. I think next time we'll carry on maybe building some of this stuff. We'll sort the toilets out. We'll maybe work on some of this. We'll probably get to the end of year 11, I would have thought. And then it'll be year 12. And then by the end of year 12, I think we might be done. I think we might well be finished. I don't think we'll have anything left to do. I think we'll have filled up pretty much the entire map. Apart from a little bit over here on the outside, which I do want to work on. I'm not really happy that the front of the school is this kind of rubbishy wilderness that we get rid of over here. We kind of you know, put, put carpets over it and flooring and marble and stuff. But at the front of the school, we seem to have left it. It's sort of acceptable that it's all out the front. So yeah, we'll sort that out as well. That obviously needs to be done to make the whole thing beautiful and complete. But yeah, I think we've only got year 11 and year 12 and I think we will be done. But do you know what? That is still two full academia years. We've still got lots and lots of time, lots of stuff to go on with. And we've now got an extra problem now of possibly people dropping out due to a lack of toilets. So yay, so we'll have to sort that out as well. We'll do all that next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. I hope you are. If you are, then leave a like. Please do leave a like. That would be marvellous. And also, please do subscribe if you are not already to keep up to date with how we get on in Academia School Simulator. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. Yes! In your face! In your face, hats. I didn't even know what was going on there. There was blood and rain and doom. Fall on my head, hat. I have no hat. <laughs> Rectify this matter, okay? Wrong. That was a car. It's happening again. Keep it together. Ah, oh, no!